Hello, my name is Gemma. Welcome back to another video. These books are going to self-destruct in 365 days. So I have 365 days from today, which is the 29th of May, to read these books before I unhaul them. I'm putting my foot down. They have to get either read or thrown away or donated. You know what I mean? So I have a stack of books here of ones that I've had on my shelf, probably the longest and have never touched. Let's get through this. The first book I have here is Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now, the only reason I picked this book up was because I read the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I loved it. I did, it was amazing. So I decided to pick up this without even knowing anything about it. I have no clue what this book is about at all. I either have to read it or donate. The next book I have here is the only one I picked up because it was Blurred by Sarah J Maas and by now everybody should know I am Sarah J Maas trash. That is now my brand. You cannot take that away from me. But that is The Forbidden Wish by Jessie, Jessica, Corey? Gahori? I botched that. I do know that this is some kind of Aladdin retelling where the genie is a female. I know that much, but I've never actually tried to read this at all. Like I said, the only reason I picked it up is because it was blurred by Sarah J Maas. <laughs> this next one I have here is one I picked up because at the time I was building up my hardback collection. Now, I was in Waterstones one day and I just looked at it, I read the synopsis and I picked it up and that is How to Disappear by Claire Funris. I think it's to do with a teenager getting pregnant and them coping about with that or them trying to go through an abortion. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I was completely wrong. No. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing here. But this is saying it's about a girl who has to stay behind in summer to look after her twin siblings while her best friend goes off with his new girlfriend and they're getting ready for a wedding. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, she is pregnant. So I was right, she is pregnant with her best friend's baby. It is about a pregnancy, a teenage pregnancy. So I was right in some aspect. You've gotta give me a little bit of credit for that. As I'm not a huge contemporary reader, this isn't really high on my priority list. This next one, I have no clue what it's about. There was a book swap at my book club at one point and it, the cover looked interesting. Not like massively, it's kind of ugly, but I thought I'd get it as a joke. That is The Replacement by Benya Yonov. Benna Yonov, Yo Yovanov, Yovanov. So I have no idea what this is. I don't know what it's about. It's saying something that this guy is, is a replacement, a world of living dead girls ruled by a little tattooed princess. What the fuck? Left in a crib of a human baby 16 years old. Kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of those fairies who swap children out for fairies when they're born. What they're called? If you know what they're called, just leave it down in the comments because then I just look stupid and everybody has a good laugh. I have just found something in a book. That's kind of pretty. The next one I have here is I think quite a popular one that a lot of people have read, which is The Lie Tree by Francis, Francis Harding. And this is essentially about a girl whose father dies in really weird circumstances. So she goes digging around in his stuff and discovers that there's this tree that kind of feeds off whispers and in the fruit there's truth. It's kind of weird. I'm not quite sure exactly how I feel about this yet. I had a tutor in college who loved this book and it was one of her favourite books. So I think that's the only reason I picked this up so I could try it and see what it was like myself. But I'm not entirely sure if I do want to read this or not. It sounds really interesting but it looks like there's a big series of it and I don't really want to commit to another series. The next one is another Frances Harding book. This is also one I got from World Book Day where it was really really cheap and it was only £2.50 but it has a really weird concept and I don't, it just reminds me of the Discworld. I don't know if I really want to get into this or not but that is Fly By Night and 
I know this has a goose, like a really sarcastic or sassy goose in it. That's all I essentially know is that there's this goose that's sassy. A sassy goose. Or a funny... It's not like about a goose, but I don't know exactly what this is about. Like, my friend tried to explain it to me once. And she was like saying, oh, but there's a sassy goose. That's the only thing I latched on to is a sassy goose. This next one. Hmm. I have tried to read this. I genuinely thought this was a fantasy. But unfortunately, it's a sci-fi. Sci-fi and me don't mix very well. And that is Mirage by Samaya Dodd. I did start reading this and I didn't realise it was a sci-fi. So it's about this girl who lives on a moon and the, a princess wants a bottle, body double to do, you know, go in the public eye because there's threats on this princess. So the main character is then, because she looks so much like the princess is taken to be her body double. But she lives on a moon. <laughs> And I generally thought this was going to be a fantasy. Obviously, I want to try this. I'm going to try and see if I can get this on an audiobook to see if I can try and read it that way. Maybe the better way to do that. Probably with a lot of these would be an audiobook way to do it because that would be an easier way for me. I'm terrible at reading anyway, so. This last one, I am ashamed of. I am fiercely ashamed because I purchased this when it first came out five years ago in 2015. This is probably the oldest book I have on my shelf. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabat, Sabat, by Sabat to here. I'm ashamed about this one. This is the one that is most shameful, I think. I was really interested when I picked it up and I was like, this is gonna be an amazing series. It's gonna be great. But I just never got around to it. And now they've changed the covers for them, so there's not even this cover anymore, so I'll have to get new ones anyway. But before I even think about doing that, and plus, this one's gold. This is really cool gold. I really want to love this book so much, but <laughs> I haven't even read it yet. So those are all the books that are going to essentially self-destruct in the next 365 days. That is exactly, as I said, on the 29th of May next year. So on the 29th of May, I will probably do a reaction to this video and see if I have read them or not. If not, they're gonna be going to my local library, I'm afraid. If I forget about this video, please remind me. But until then, if you like this video and would like to see more bookish content from me, hi, you can always like this video, you can always subscribe and you can press that notification bell if it is there, if I have one. I don't know. If you want to follow me on social media, all of that's going to be down below. It's going to be all the same for everything. I think. I think. I don't think it's Twitter though. I know it is my Instagram. It's the same as my channel name. Go and follow me there. Until next time, read sweet.